Hello Biology 300 students, this is Mr. Gales. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the cell cycle and mitosis, cell growth and division screencast session number two. Uh, today we're going to focus on the events, the major events of the cell cycle to understand what that means and we'll really focus in on what happens during the major phase of the cell cycle called interphase. I'm going to go ahead to the learning targets here. These are the things that you should be understanding as a result of today's screencast. You should be able to explain the major events of each of the four main phases of the cell cycle. And you should also be able to identify the major events of interphase. Now, in terms of your textbook, <clears throat> we're referring here to Chapter 6, Section 2. So if you want to go back and review some of your reading, that would be a good idea. Also, uh, in your packet, if you are one of my students or if you have Mr. Parker or Miss Wolf, we all use the same packet. Uh, this refers to page 49 and 50, and then also page 61. So what you should do is make sure that you've got your two column notes, uh, either your note paper so that you can take two column notes or that you should have your two column notes to review so that as we go through this screencast, you can make sure that you've got main ideas and details uh, for each of the, the big ideas. Also, write down questions that you may have. That's a great idea that if you can bring those questions into class, we can really easily, hopefully, uh, clarify those things for you. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to move forward here to the first slide. We're going to look at uh, the first main idea, which is the cell cycle. The cell cycle can be defined as the cycle of growth and, and division, which occurs in the life of all cells. So this is a, a cyclical um, sort of period of growth followed by a period of division, which of course then produces new cells, which go through a continued period of growth and then further division. The cell cycle includes interphase, which is the major division of the cell cycle, and then another division which is called mitosis. Um, so again, it's the cycle of growth and division in all cells. And the picture that you're seeing here is a, a really good representation of the phases of the cell cycle, and it would be a good idea for you to have that in your notes. Uh, the cell cycle, we have, when we look at interphase of the cell cycle, we're looking at G1. We're going to talk about what G1 does here in just a moment and then the S phase of the cell cycle, and then further G2. G1 and G2 are referred to as the gap 1 and gap 2, or you can look at it as growth 1 and growth 2. Um, so the three major phases of interphase, G1, S, and G2, and then M, which is mitosis. All right, so what I'm going to do real quickly here is <clears throat> have you flip your, uh, your packets open to page 49, and some of you may have already done this. There was the bell. Some of you may have already done this in class. If you haven't, page 49 is the active reading on the cell cycle. This goes along with section 6-2. So what I would have you do is make sure that you can uh, have this page in front of you and take a moment to read through the few paragraphs here about the events of the cell cycle. Pause the video, and as the video is paused, read through this and then answer the questions. Once you've done that, hit play on the video, and I'll go through the answers with you. All right, go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so hopefully you've paused the video, you've answered the questions, and we're ready to take a look at the major events that occur according to the active reading. First two questions we look at are, uh, what are the two key terms contained in the first paragraph of this passage? We have the cell cycle and interphase. We know those are key terms because they're bolded. The meaning of the two key terms, cell cycle, it's stated right in the reading as the repeating sequence of cellular growth and division during the life of an organism. And interphase is the first three phases of the cell cycle. And then here it says, a cell is viewed under a high-powered microscope, and it appears to be in the fourth phase of the cell cycle. What does that indicate? If we go back up here, the fourth phase, we have uh, first, second, third, fourth. The fourth phase is mitosis. So we would say it's in mitosis. And if you read through about mitosis, that would mean the nucleus is actively dividing. OK, flipping to the back here. This is a matching that just looks at the events uh, that occur during these five phases. I should mention, by the way, that in the PowerPoint, uh, mitosis and cytokinesis are kind of lumped into the same um, phase that just relates to division. They are distinct in that mitosis is the division of the nucleus, whereas cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm. So the nucleus divides during mitosis. Uh, first growth phase is the major portion of the cell's life. Cytoplasm divides during um, cytokinesis. The mitochondria replicate during the second growth phase. That's when the organelles are replicated in preparation for division. 
Cells grow rapidly during the first growth phase. Two identical nuclei are produced during mitosis because that's the division of the nucleus. DNA is copied during what's called the synthesis phase. Synthesis means to build or to make, so it's when new DNA is made. Microtubules are assembled in the second growth phase. Uh, two chromatids are attached at the centromere at the end of the S phase. The S phase is when the DNA is replicated. That's when the single-stranded chromosomes become double chromosomes, doubled chromosomes, or chromosomes consisting of sister chromatids held together at a centromere. Cells carry out their routine functions during the first growth phase, and then the microtubules and chromosomes, or microtubules rather, move the chromosomes during mitosis. That's the division of the nuclear contents. Mito uh, mitosis and cytokinesis are alike in some ways, but also different. They're both divisions, so that's a similarity, but mitosis divides the nucleus while cytokinesis divides the cytoplasm. So that's the major difference. And then lastly, G2 phase is to mitochondria as the S phase is to DNA. During the G2 phase, the mitochondria is, are replicated. During the S phase, the DNA is replicated. All right, so those are some of the major events of the cell cycle. Now, what we're going to do is take a quick look at interphase. Interphase is the major phase of the cell cycle. It includes growth 1, S, and growth 2. And there are many things that occur during interphase. I'm going to play a video for you here as you watch the video. <clears throat> Just be paying attention to the kinds of things that occur during interphase. Because the events that occur in interphase allow mitosis to take place, let us begin our examination of mitosis by taking a closer look at interphase cells. Interphase is defined as the period of a cell's life cycle between one mitosis and the next mitosis, the period of cell growth. As can be seen in this microscopic image of an onion root, some cells are dividing, but the nuclei of most of the cells are round and intact. These are interphase cells. Average human cells, such as these that form connective tissue, spend about 19 hours in interphase and only between 50 to 90 minutes in mitosis and cell division. However, there is considerable variation among different types of cells as to how much of their life cycles are spent in interphase and in mitosis. For example, this human nerve cell rarely reproduces. Instead, it can remain in interphase for up to 60 years. Because nerve cells rarely reproduce, even to replace dead or damaged cells. Nerve damage, such as results from strokes or spinal cord injuries, is usually very serious. On the opposite end of the scale from nerve cells are cancer cells. These purple stained cancer cells, which stand out clearly against the background of red blood cells, were taken from a leukemia victim. Cancer cells like these do not remain in the interphase state very long. Instead, mitosis and cell division continues at a furious pace. In fact, cancer can be thought of as cells that never rest, that divide over and over again, never remaining very long in interphase. Even though it is often thought of as a resting state between cell divisions, a lot is actually happening inside the nucleus throughout much of this stage of a cell's life cycle. During interphase, Deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, the enormous molecule that forms the cell's genes and that holds all of the cell's operating instructions, duplicates itself. Deep inside the nucleus of interphase cells, the two DNA strands unwind as new copies of the DNA are created. Scientists refer to this process of DNA duplication as replication because exact replicas of the DNA are produced. The replication of a cell's DNA makes it possible for two complete sets of biological instructions to be sent into the new daughter cells. During mitosis, DNA is found within chromosomes, but chromosomes don't actually exist during interphase. Instead, DNA and protein form the grainy threads we see here called chromatin. The presence of chromatin is one indication a cell is in interphase. For only with the onset of mitosis does the chromatin mold itself into the distinct shapes of the chromosome seen here. Scientists still do not understand the exact role that chromosomes play within the cell, but it seems likely 
that chromosomes are the best way to package DNA, and consequently genes, for shipment into the newly forming cells. The chromosomes seen here, taken from the salivary gland of a fruit fly, provide a convenient material for scientific study because they are 10 times longer and 100 times thicker than normal chromosomes. Working with these cells, scientists have discovered that the dark and light bands we see here are the actual location of genes on the chromosomes. And their studies have also shown that when a particular gene on one of these chromosomes becomes active, the spot on the chromosome where that gene is located takes on a strange, puffed-out appearance. During mitosis, the appearance, movement, separation, and disappearance of chromosomes is of critical importance to the cell reproductive process. In fact, by recognizing what is happening to the chromosomes, we can identify each of the four stages of mitosis. Okay, now when you take a look at cells, uh, interface is characterized by a cell where you can see a distinct nucleus, but you can't see any distinct chromosomes. So when we, this is an example of a cell. This is actually a cell from a white fish, uh, just a typical fish, and it's a, an animal cell. You can see the cellular material here, and then here is the nucleus. Uh, the genetic material exists as chromatin. There, it's this indistinct thread-like material that's made up of DNA and protein. There are no individual chromosomes visible. There is a nuclear envelope that surrounds the nucleus, uh, and the cell itself, you can see, is still there's, there's still sort of an intact cellular structure here. That's what an interface cell looks like. So one of the things that you should be able to do is look at either diagrams of cells or real pictures of cells and identify interface. Now one more time, I'm going to jump out of the PowerPoint and go to uh, the, the camera, and we're going to look at page 61 in your unit packet. Um, here to the camera. Okay, now on page 61, we're going to be using this document in class um, and as also as part of the next screencast, but I want to put into context the relationship between interphase and then the later phases of mitosis. Interphase is the first three phases of the cell cycle and includes G1, S, and G2, right? This is that first growth period when the cell is growing through rapid growth. It's sort of doing its day-to-day -day business. The S phase is when the chromosomes are replicated, it's DNA replication, sister chromatids form and are held together at a centromere. And then G2 is the really the preparatory phase for division. Microtubules are assembled, the organelles are replicated, there's more cytoplasm produced, the cell gets really big. So that's interphase. Interphase starts here and goes all the way across and over to here. So you can see that the majority of the cell's life really is in that interphase, right? So that's what that diagram is meant to represent. Now, the other two parts of the cell cycle, or as sometimes we'll see them combined, mitosis and cytokinesis, these two parts together make up the cell division. Mitosis is the division of the nucleus, and cytokinesis is the actual division of uh, the, the cytoplasm so the cells actually separate. So uh, in the coming screencast and what we'll be talking about in class, the events that occur during prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, which are collectively called um, mitosis. All right? So please make sure that if you've had any questions, if there was something that you didn't understand, that you write those things down um, and that you bring them into class so that we can discuss them. And if... Uh, if you need to see this video again, uh, make sure you go back to the D DGS YouTube channel. We've got all the videos for all the units there uh, to help you out with your learning. Okay, so we'll see you next time in biology.